The city of Campbell River is trying to come up with a plan to save several kilometers of foreshore property. The shoreline is constantly being hammered by Mother Nature, and that is leading to erosion and debris problems. The city says there is no easy solution, due in part to the fact that their hands are tied by the Department of Fisheries. A News reporter Gord Kerbis shows us the problem. It is, without question, one of Campbell River's biggest assets. Dozens of kilometers of foreshore running the length of the city's boundaries. But this visual and recreational feature comes with a set of headaches. We have a, a relatively rare piece of uh, infrastructure in our community that we need to make sure we preserve for, for the future. So the foreshore is a, is a big piece of land and, and certainly is subject to the, to the whims of nature. Those whims have been eroding some parts of the foreshore while at the same time building up other parts. You can think of the ocean, and it's especially evident during winter storms, those materials along the shore are constantly moving to the north. It's like a big conveyor belt. The buildup of rocks and driftwood debris is so bad in places like the Ken Ford boat launch that the ramp is completely blocked. We have been having problems uh, for a number of years, really for quite a long time, with debris collecting in the boat ramps, and we've used uh, different methods of of uh, unclogging the boat ramps. That work can't come fast enough for boaters like Craig Robertson, who's had to resort to this boat launch further from his home because the Ford launch hasn't been cleared by the city. From what I've heard, it's just a matter of with DFO and the creek that's nearby, that uh, boat launch that's there, and they're worried about taking all the gravel away from the boat launch, right. and then it would take it away from the stream, apparently. The city says it is working to try to alleviate the problem, but is facing restrictions from fisheries and oceans about where and when it can do clearing. In order to reconstruct areas of the beach, you have to do it in a fisheries, in a fisheries window. So that tends to be later in the summer. Boat ramps, we want to clear those out right now. For several decades, Campbell River crews have been working hard to fight against Mother Nature, trying various techniques to prevent erosion and to stop debris from washing ashore. But now they think they have a better plan, actually working with Mother Nature. What we have to do is, is work with that nature and work with for, uh, fisheries to make sure that we can come up with a plan that deals with uh, the erosion issues, the boat ramp clogging, and really what we're trying to do here is make sure that the foreshore is in place uh, for generations to come. To do that, city staff are trying to get funding from council to have an expert study nature's effects along the shoreline. Our plan is to do an assessment of the entire foreshore, identify the priority areas for rehabilitation, develop a phased plan to rehabilitate that, and to incorporate maintenance of the boat ramps and management of the boat ramps. Staff are hoping to receive that approval on June 15th, with work expected to be completed in 2011. In Campbell River, Gord Kirpus, A News.